How's it going, everyone? In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back to the series where I play some buffed versions of the Rob Top levels, and I'm just going to go back to doing them in order. Uh, the last video I did Electrodynamics, I skipped a bunch of levels, but I've done Stereo Madness. I did back on track. Today, we're just going to go do Poltergeist. So I was scoping out some levels earlier. I only like played this one for 7%, and it was pretty challenging, which is going to be great because that's what we're here for. Challenging buffed levels. Oh my God. See, look at that. You got to hit those all like so... If the whole level's like this, like these like super really hard long jumps, I'm so screwed. I mean, this is this is challenging. This is pretty Yo, you have to jump at like the very end of those platforms. This is gonna be very challenging. I think I'm gonna have to go into practice mode, actually. Like, look at that. That is a very long jump. I hit that jump ring late. Dude, you, how do you get through that? That has to be perfect. This is bananas, man. You can actually jump over it too. Like it's 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 so hard. You have to hit it late. Holy no! Every single jump is so late. Every single one. That's all this level is. Is like incredibly late jumps on every single platform. And this jump is stupidly hard. Wow. Look how hard that is. Okay, I had to go practice this. This is too much for me to handle. At least, hey, at least we got some late jumps. What? Wow, what is up with what is up with this? This is so hard. Wow. Okay, early there, and then late there, and late there. <laughs> Am I even going to be able to do this is the question. Comparatively, the flying isn't as hard, though. That's for sure, as long as you know what's coming up. But my God, those jumps at the beginning were insane. So now seeing this, I think I might actually be able to do it. Seeing like the, this easy part here, unless there's all of a sudden like a massive difficulty spike at the end. Wow, the middle part, what is it like from like 20 to 40%? Like stupidly difficult jumps. Dude, yeah, see like, shoot man, in that pink section, it is so hard. Yo, that jump warp is so hard. I hit that late and I still hit that. Yo. Okay, the end of the level is easier. Come on, the end of the level is easy. We just got to get there. There we go. Nice. No, I jumped too late. Shoot, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I died right away to the ship. Oh, that's... Man, that sucks. Like, whenever I'm flying... I always click the button a lot. Like I'm like, click, 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 click. And I'm trying to do like these mini micro clicks to like straighten myself out. Um, but a lot of the times you just got to loop up and down, you know, just two nice normal clicks. Oh no, what? That's not that hard to do. I jumped just, I just barely died. No, so far. I went through so many hard jumps to get there. Yo, son, what a stressful level. <laughs> the ending's not that hard. Um, that's a great buff level. Like, honestly, what a really fun challenge. But goddamn, man, what a clencher. 
Okay, this one is Polar Guys buffed by GD Jessam. Oh my god, this looks... Dude! Why are these Polar Guys levels so hard? Like, some of the other, like, Stereo Madness and Back on Track ones, like, there was, like, one hard one I found in them. Um, but these ones so far, like, Polar Guys buffed. These are in... These are so hard! Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Whoa, 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 whoa! How am I still alive? Okay, this is... Yeah, this, this is silly. The difficulty is so... What? Dude, what, what is that? Oh, you just hit all of them in a row. That's that's so chill. Look at it. You just hit them all like as soon as you get to them. I mean, that's easy. This is really fun, actually. This is a really good buff version. Um, It's a little... There's, there's a couple blind jumps, but... It's it's overall it's actually really fun to play once you've learned it. That that's a little silly. Like forces you on like the kind of awkward coin path. Oh dude, dude, like it's funny like some parts in this level are awesome, but some parts are ridiculous. Okay, what wait 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 wait. What what are, what are we doing here? What what wait, what are we doing here? Oh, that's okay. Speak easy. Speaking of dumb parts. Like, come, dude, come on. <laughs> Fake at the end. <laughs> All right. This shouldn't take me as long as the other level did, but jeez, man. No, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> oh, God. I was so close. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yo, what? I died from doing that too early? You can do it too early too? Are you kidding me? Okay, hey, that's got to be good. Yes. My goodness. My goodness. Bam, bam, bam. Yo, that was a really good one. That one was fairly balanced. The only annoying thing about it is that stupid blue jump ring. Other than that, it's really good. That was a really fun uh, buffed version. Yeah, yeah. like the buff versions, both the buff versions we played today um, have been just like fun. They've been like perfect buff versions of levels, right? Um, so they were, they were pretty tough though. I think I'm just going to do one more. This is Polar Guys buff by Tweety7182 for EVW's buff level series. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my god, all these all these crazy jump ring timings. Oh, that isn't even a jump ring. Okay. Look. I'm warmed up. Let's go. I can do this. Come on. Oh my god. Why do what? okay? Oh, you go underneath. Jeez, man. I was thinking, like, how do you get between those? Okay, you gotta go over there. Tricky, tricky. Yo, man. Wow. Ugh. You got to go up sometimes. You got to go like above the uh, areas. I think it looks trickier than it actually is. Oh, okay. Wow. What's... Oh, my God. It's not so bad, but you, you go out of there really funky, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I not going out? What? 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 what what's going on here? Oh, there we go. I think I, you got to go through the portal high or something. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow! Is it just me or did that get ridiculously hard all of a sudden? Like the cube part was fine. 
But we're... <laughs> this flying section is ridiculous! Wow! Wow, 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 wow! Wow, even, the, like, the end, this level just keeps on getting harder and harder. Like, that jump is... That, that was sick. That was sick. Oh, look at that ending. You gotta do that timing as well. Oh, boy. Dude! This level's actually really good except for that part. That part is really kind of janky. Because, like, if you get through the ship section, you should just kind of, like, get it. But you gotta go through that portal in, like, a very specific way. Like, sometimes you just don't make it. It's really weird. Dude, and sometimes when you get through there, uh, the jump pads bump you up too high. So even when you hit the jump rings as early as possible, you still die. Dude, why? Come on. Look at that. I went through and it didn't bump me up enough. Man, I've died so many different ways to that. Okay, so tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I really do like this level by Tweety7182. Um, but it is like super bug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. And I think I'm just going to fix the bug. And then try to beat it. I think that's fair because I am I've died to that bug right here. Like I think I've died there like 20 plus times. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. Thank God. Oh my god. So what you got what I had to do is I had to just switch it to an orange jump pad and then two pink jump orbs and that was like that was good enough. Otherwise, like depending on how you went through there, um it was just it was super random, you know? Now I'm willing to do, I'm willing to do this hard ship. I just didn't want to mess around with that buggy part. That buggy part was like an absolute nightmare. Holy. Yeah, of course. It's still hard though. This ship part's still hard. I'm going to die here a lot, but just knowing that I'm not going to be like bugging out anymore is so, makes me so happy. No, I always go up too high on the last cog. Come on. Are you kidding me? No, dude, that jump is so tight. You have to jump right before that spike to make that jump. And I jumped, but I jumped into the spike. Oh, that sucks so bad. You guys have no idea. There's also, there's one more hard jump after that. That's kind of tricky, but I didn't think I was going to die there, though. I thought I was going to get it. Like, even in practice, I don't die that much there, right? Dude, what? That jump, I didn't even realize that jump was so hard. I knew that was kind of tricky, but wow, like I thought I nailed that. Yeah, I knew I was going to die there at some point. Oh, that's, man, that spike timing is stupidly hard. Yo, that took so long. That took over an hour to do. Oh my God. That's the hard level today in all these videos, except for Electrodynamics, actually. Electrodynamics had a couple hard levels, but not like this. Not like the Stereo Madness and Back on Track and Polar Geist now. 
That's insanely hard. And uh, you know what? I, I will say, if you do want to try this challenge yourself, make yourself a copyable. Fix that ship part at like 27%, was it? Once you fix it, it's really challenging. There's some like frame perfect jumps. Not Maybe they're not frame perfect, but close to that you got to like really practice but it, it'll make you way better at the game, that's for sure. That was so hard. Let's hope dry out's a little bit of a break, yeah? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Leave a thumbs up for my troubles, please. Leave, leave thumbs ups. It was very difficult. As always, peace.